it is the week four edition of the monster pod here on the lines lines.com joined by connor allen four for four cincinnati Bengals on the road at the carolina panthers this did dip down as low as four it's back up to four and a half that was the resistance point we're like okay no it's gonna gonna get back up to four and a half 47 47 and a half is our total here In this one, we've seen Cincinnati just destroy every survivor pool there is on the face of the planet. They were the culprit in week one and week three. And here we are sitting with survivor pools that have like 5% of the remaining players through through three weeks. Thanks, Cincinnati, on that one. Of course, the Red Rifle comes in and just slices and dices the Raiders. Last week, Connor, a, a pretty interesting game overall in the what do you believe is real bowl here in week number four? Yeah, this is a, a tough one because I was big on the Bengals heading into the season. Um, you and you know, me I both, thought, buddy. You and uh, me both, buddy. And yeah. to be fair, like I think their offense is, you know, getting on track. Like it's not like they were bad. I thought they were they were fine. It's yeah. the defense that is like astoundingly bad, like so mm-hmm. so bad. Um, they well, they lost to their starting defensive tackles, and so they're like, all right, Washington's going to run the ball a ton. They like basically sold out to like Lou Anne Room. I was like, we just can't let them run on us. You know, we're going to make mm-hmm. Jaden Daniels beat us. And boy, did he beat him like that was like (laughs) he did whatever he wanted. Um, And this is I mean, I I just I was very, very surprised to see that. And now you have a a Carolina offense that looked revitalized against the Raiders. Like I'm very confident that Andy Dalton in most situations can be confident that with Dave Canales, he can execute what needs to be done. And he was making some great throws to Tommy Tremble, to Deontay Johnson. Mm -hmm. They have him moving around a bunch like Xavier Leggett probably plays a bigger role without Adam Thielen now. And this Bengals. I mean, this Bengals defense is literally just like they got nothing right now. They got no juice. Uh, mm-hmm. Like up front, they can they can't stop the run. If they sell it to stop the run, teams are just going to pass a million times on them. So um, I think I would lean towards um, the Panthers here. I, I mean, it feels gross, and it yeah. probably is an overreaction to what we saw last week from both teams. Um, but that would probably be my lean. I'm not excited to do it because I think that both teams could probably score here. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I mean, look, it's it's they might be without. They might be without three of the four starting defensive linemen. Trey Henderson hadn't practiced at all this week either. So it's like you got Henderson that's not going. B.J. Hill hasn't practiced at all. Sheldon Rankins hadn't practiced at all. We talk about it like Bucky Irving season only lasted a few. This this is Chuba Hubbard season apparently like for this (laughs) week. Like get Chuba Hubbard in every single one of your lineups because he might run for 150 yards in this game. I, 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 like you, was very, very high on Cincinnati coming into the season. But if they can't do anything on the defensive line, then it's just very, very tough for me to want to back them in a game like this. Um, I might end up playing the Panthers in the contests, at least, that I'm in. And we'll go from there. I, I don't know, Stephen. It's a, it's a very weird game because the offense it, it, from Cincinnati is clicking. I mean, like, the offense is, is, is rocking and rolling. I have two bets in this game. Uh, first of all, a big injury note, Deontay Johnson was a midweek downgrade in the injury report, but he had an interview afterwards and said it was just the condition of the practice field and he was being <laughs> cautious. So he's good to play. I don't know what's going on with these NFL owners in the fields, but like <laughs> David Tepper in between giving front page interviews on CNBC <laughs> about investing in China. Can we get a freaking <laughs> uh, practice field that the players aren't afraid to, to go on? That, that would be nice with your billion dollars. Uh, okay. Panthers plus four and a half in the account for me. Also over 47 is fine here for me as well. I bet both of those Uh, Panthers. um, You have to draw a line through every single game, included in the sample where Bryce Young is at quarterback. He was so bad that it brought down every other unit on this team. Like they just had no shot. So it like anything Bryce Young related, you can't include. Now we only have really two games of, Andy Dalton quarterbacking this team with two different head coaches. But we also know that Andy Dalton over the past several years is still around a league average quarterback in terms of success rate. So last week didn't surprise me at all. And I do have belief that they could at least be, you know, not bottom tier of the league in terms of their Mm -hmm. offense. They get a really good defensive matchup here against Cincinnati at home and the Bengals have a short week to get ready for this game. So it's never the Bengals laying the points here with how bad their defense is. And I am of the belief that the Panthers can at least stay competitive in this game with when they have the ball. And just if coming off of that Monday night game 
where so like neither team punted and neither team forced a turnover. The market reacted and said, okay, the commander's game, the total cannot be in the 40s, and it got bet up into the 50s. I don't understand why that's not the same case here with these two defenses, with the Panthers' defense being unanimously agreed to be terrible. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the, the, the Bengals right now. I don't understand why this is still sitting at 47. It doesn't make any sense to me. It was one of the easiest bets I made this week. I also bet the over. It's uh, it's not a bet on the game, but it's a bet on a player in the game. So I'll put it there. I did play, though, this week, Joe Burrow to lead the league in passing yards because this defense, I think, is going to put them in situations where he's going to have to just throw and throw and throw a ton. I don't know if they're going to be able to just run a normal offense, at least in at least for the time being anyway. And Getting Higgins back in there, obviously Chase is an absolute stud. He's gotten, you know, some work. He's gotten some decent stuff out of not only Gasicki, but some some third and third and fourth wide receivers as well. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if we look up and Joe Burrow's having to throw 40 plus times a game to keep this team in games. And so I uh I put in Burrow to lead the league in in uh passing yards as well. So just something if anybody like wants that. to uh, take a look at that one. Guys, as always, everything we do, absolutely free. So please hit that subscribe button. Do appreciate you hanging out. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section what game stood out to you. What did we miss? What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Let's be frank. You're only going to put what you disagree with in there. That's fine. Just tell us what you disagree with and like tell us that we're idiots and all that. We'll go in. We'll read them for sure. Don't think Steven doesn't go back in the comments because we made a clean sweep on Thursday night when everyone was calling us idiots. And uh, Steven went in there and did a little poking of the bear. So like, you know, it's just a little, <laughs> I, I little poking received. of the bear. I yeah, just a little, little, little poke into the bear in that. Of course, if you have not already, go in. Check out all the great work Connor and company are doing over at 4, uh, 4 for 4. It is literally not only sports betting, but great fantasy stuff, DFS stuff, and great projection systems that you're going to want to use in your process. So be sure and put that to play over there for Connor. For Steven, I'm Matt. Good luck on all your Week 4 bets. <laughs>